Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore claims he is being harassed over accusations that he pursued teenage girls when he was in his 30s. Speaking at a Christian revival meeting, Moore said that the stories of five women are a political ploy. He said Democrats and Republicans are teaming up to keep him out of Washington. Earlier, the Republican National Committee cut all fundraising ties to the former judge. Manuel Bajorquez is in Jackson, Alabama, where Moore spoke last night. Manuel, good morning. Good morning. If last night's reception here was any indication, supporters are sticking by their candidate despite growing anti moore sentiment in Washington. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said he spoke with Vice President Pence on Monday and President Trump last Friday, trying to figure out how the GOP should deal with Moore's candidacy. They spent over $30 million to try to take me out. A defiant Moore showed no signs of bowing out while addressing the supportive crowd at the God Save America Revival Conference. After 40 something years of fighting this battle, I'm now facing allegations. And that's all the press want to talk about. But I want to talk about the issues. Fox News host Sean Hannity, who originally questioned the five women accusing Moore of sexual misconduct, distanced himself from the candidate last night. For me, the judge has 24 hours. You must immediately and fully come up with a satisfactory explanation for your inconsistencies. If you can't do this, then Judge Moore needs to get out of this race. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell did not rule out trying to expel Moore if the Alabama Republican wins. He's obviously not uh, fit to be in the United States Senate. And we've looked at all the options uh, to try to prevent that from happening. In his testimony before the House Judiciary Committee, you Attorney General Jeff Sessions one. cited against the man who wants his old Senate name. seat. Do you believe these young women? I am, uh, have no reason to doubt these young women. The Democrat in the Alabama race, Doug Jones, is capitalizing on the allegations in a new TV ad. You read the story and it just shakes you. I'm a lifelong Republican, but I just can't do it. Don't decency and integrity matter anymore? Meanwhile, there appear to be attempts to discredit the allegations against Moore. A robocall from someone claiming to be a Washington Post reporter was received by an Alabama pastor and played for our affiliate WKRG. If anyone at this address is a female between the ages of 54 to 57 years old willing to make damaging remarks about candidate Roy Moore for a reward of between $5,000 to $7,000. In a statement, the Washington Post, which first published the allegation, said that call was fake and that the newspaper is appalled anyone would stoop to that level to discredit real journalism. Sources also tell CBS News that Steve Bannon, who helped Moore get nominated, is now deliberating whether he should publicly disavow him. Charlie? Thanks, Manuel.